Hey guys, Viper here, welcome to my Monaco Grand Prix preview for the 2015 Formula 1 season. I hope you enjoy the background footage, it's Monaco 2014 with F1 2001 cars. I am driving, I think it's Eddie Irvine's uh, Jaguar, and I got sat on pole position. <coughs> I'm par par apologies for me, I'm sounding a bit croaky, just because I'm, I'm trying to get rid of a cough at the moment, it's sore throat a little bit. Uh, I've still got it, it's mainly gone now, but uh, I've still got it, so bear that in mind. Anyhow, uh, the main point of the video is obviously the predictions, so um, I'll start off with the pole position. Now, my pole position and my race predictions are going to be the same um, as they were for the Spanish one, I think, but the only thing that's different is that, well, Monaco, for me, I always think it, it's pa proved, been proved the past two years that... Nico Rosberg has the dominant force or the upper hand over Lewis Hamilton. So for me, this is quite an it's not for me, but for Lewis, this is an opportunity to try and gain some ground on Nico. But Nico is obviously quite strong here, so it'll be quite difficult for Lewis to do so. Um, like I said, the past two years we've seen Nico uh, pull away. We've we've seen him win two races, even though Vettel did win the 2013 title and most of that season. He didn't manage to win Monaco because Rosberg won it, and because Rosberg was in the uh, unbeatable car last year, he managed to win it um, in that car easy. Uh, Lewis got something in his eye, and blah blah blah. Anywho, my predictions for qualifying is I reckon Nico Rosberg will be on pole position, um, mainly just because he, I think he's got that pace. Lewis Hamilton will probably be in second, and Vettel or Raikkonen, two Friars will most likely be third and fourth. And then I think it'll be either the Williams or the Lotus pairing. Uh, Toro Rosso will be in the mix somewhere for the rest of the battle. And also Red Bull's going to be in there. I think because Red Bull's got a short top speed. I don't think it's the shortest of the field this year like it was last year. But I still think it's short. So I think this track could work to their advantage like it did for Ricardo last year. Um, as for the race predictions, I don't think anyone's going to be able to touch Nico Rosberg. So I reckon Nico will win it. Uh, Lewis will probably come second. It'll probably like it's the same as my quality prediction. So Lewis will come second. One of the Ferraris will come third, or I imagine it'll probably be Vettel. But Raikkonen that might make a surprise if he does, considering he has won Monaco before in the wet. I think it was uh, in 2007 or 2008. I'm not sure. Um, but I think we saw last year the uh, the two points that Marussia managed to score thanks to Jules Bianchi. So I think. If all goes well, and there's a f quite a few retirements like there was last year, I'd see McLaren Honda scoring some points. But apart from that, like I said, my predictions are Rosberg gets pole, he wins the race, he gets Lewis comes second, so Hamilton comes second, then it's one of the Ferraris, both the Ferraris will come third and fourth, I would imagine, and then from fifth to tenth, it will be a scrap between Toro Rosso's Lotus, Red Bull, and. Williams. I don't know what order they would, but I'm just going to say for now, I'd say one of the Williams most likely Bottas, I think. He did quite well last year, so Bottas and then Massa. Uh, Grosjean will probably be 7th, I reckon. Ricard no, Ricardo will be 7th. Grosjean will be 8th. Uh, I reckon Verstappen will be ninth, and it'll be a scrappy points finish for the last point, but I think Alonso should be in that mix for the last point, so that would be quite interesting to see. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are enjoying my predictions. Obviously, be sure to leave yours down in the comment section below uh, for this weekend's Monaco Grand Prix. It's going to be a good one. I would, ho I would hope so. Um, Mercedes probably will dominate up front, but I think it's going to be it'll be a lot closer. Um, hopefully, Lewis can actually take the fight to Nico and maybe win it, but I doubt it because Nico is very, very strong at the circuit. He seems unbeatable almost. Um, so those are my predictions and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Until then, thanks for watching and ta -ra.